so last fall I upgraded all three of my suburbia backyard solar panel arrays to these Q cell bifacial solar panels I've got connected right now about 9,500 watts of solar panels here in the backyard there's a pergola array so I've got three arrays and there's a south facing array there I've got some additional ones laying down right here to boost this south facing array and I'm averaging about 50 kilowatt hours harvests from these solar panels and I don't want to make this a very long video but I'll show you the results on the computer and also how my battery bank is doing all right I'm here inside the house it was 103 degrees yesterday and I use this window air conditioner it's an 8,000 cooling BTU Toshiba to help supplement the house's HVAC so let's take a look at the computer and I'll show you the results for July they're right here and it's very difficult to read this but my loads were 1324 and from the grid about 115 kilowatt hours that works out to about 92 percent off grid on my six critical loads which includes that air conditioner and it keeps this house nice and cool so that's numbers don't lie red is buying and gray is off grid see right here and last month was about 92 percent too so those solar panels are doing really good and the battery bank so let's go take a look at the battery bank all right gonna be another hot day the sun is just coming up over the east and it is absolutely beautiful this time of the year with the sunrises and i like getting stuff done in the morning because it's a hell of a lot cooler i bought these eg4 life power 4 battery server rack lithiums in february with my casino winnings had some issues with the bus bars worked that all out but honestly folks these have been doing excellent uh excellent 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 these are my original batteries right down here i had with my system for years and i tied those in <clears throat> a couple of months ago in parallel with my system here added the battery kill switch and so this adds another 11 kilowatt hours on top of the 30 kilowatt hours so I've got about 42 kilowatt hours in storage my solar panels make about 50 kilowatt hours a day and as you saw on the computer screen I'm <laughs> I can hold loads and charge at the same time with 3,500 watt inverter so it's kicking butt in this hot time of the year for Oklahoma. It just sits there and perks. Right now I'm inverting. It's 6.48 in the morning and I'm still inverting at about, I don't know, about 40% state of charge. Yep, right there. See that? 40% state of charge. So it's going to fill the tank back up with electrons from the sun, invert, and life is good I just thought I'd show you this with a quick video um, especially with the battery bank here um, it's doing great I've had no issues with the heat I've got the swamp cooler hose blowing cold air throughout the whole day and I vent the garage with two box fans that suck air hot air in the garage and blows it out the attic keeps things nice and relatively less hot let's put it that way it's it's not it, you can sit out here and not sweat let's just put it that way it's not like air conditioned cool but it's it keeps the systems from overheating and batteries everything so there you have it have a good one stay nice and cool and hope you hopefully you enjoyed this video maybe learn something do something different that i did <laughs> who knows right all right be well later